So. In today's video, we're going to show you the correct way to perform nasal pharyngeal swab for COVID-19 testing. Before you begin, you're going to want to make sure you've gathered all of your supplies. You'll need three biohazard bags. One of those bags will contain ice. You'll also want your COVID-19 sampling kit, which is a vial of viral transport medium, as well as a swab to perform the nasal pharyngeal swab. You'll also want to make sure you have a light so you can inspect your patient's nares for any obstructions. Before you come into the room, make sure you've donned the appropriate PPE using the buddy system as well. When you come into the room to perform the testing, be sure you check your patient's identity first. Take a look at their armband, and then using the MobiLab system, you're going to want to print a label and place it on your vial of the viral transport medium. Now, before we collect our nasal pharyngeal sample, we want to inspect our patient's nares and look for any obstructions. Have your patient hold their head at about a 70 degree angle. If your patient's sitting up like ours is, you can place a roll behind their head to help them achieve that angle. So now I'm gonna go ahead and inspect their nares. And I'm looking to make sure there aren't any obstructions. It looks nice and clear. So now I'm going to go ahead and perform my nasal pharyngeal swab. I'm going to take my swab. Whenever you do the swab, you want to be sure and insert the swab holding it parallel to the patient's palate. You're going to insert until you feel resistance, which should be about the distance from the patient's nostril to the front of their ear. So on our patient here, that's about right to where my fingers are. So, go ahead and insert the swab again, holding parallel to the patient's palate until you meet resistance or you go the distance that you need to, and then begin to gently twirl the swab. You're going to do this for about 10 seconds. If your patient is unable to tolerate this for 10 seconds, you can pull the swab out and insert it in the other nares. So each nair would have about five seconds of collection performed in it. After 10 seconds has passed, you're going to gently pull the swab out while still continuing to rotate slightly. Now you're going to take your swab and you're going to place it in your vial of the viral transport medium. In order to do this, you're going to want to take the cap off and then insert the swab, making sure that the swab is completely inserted in the viral transport medium and then break your swab off at the red line. That should be the break point. Now your swab's in here. And then take your cap and make sure it's closed very tightly. You can throw this in the sharps container whenever you're done. Now, I'm going to take my vial and I'm gonna place it in a biohazard bag. I'm going to take it over to my buddy so that she can continue to package it up to send it down to the lab. As you can see, my buddy is preparing the counter surface by wiping it off with a Santa cloth wipe. You may either use the bleach wipes or the gray top wipes. Either one is just as effective. After my buddy has prepared the countertop surface, she's taken off her dirty gloves, performed hand hygiene, and is now putting on clean gloves. After that, I will hand her the bag and she'll take a sandy cloth and wipe the bag down. After wiping the bag down, my buddy can place the bag on the clean counter surface, take off her dirty gloves, perform hand hygiene, and don clean gloves. After donning clean gloves, she'll now take the bag and place it into a second biohazard bag. Seal that bag up tightly. And then now, place that into another bag with ice. After sealing the bag of ice up tightly, she'll take this to the laboratory for processing. COVID-19 tests are performed in batches. They're run at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. daily. 
Once the batch testing has begun, it does take about four to six hours for the test to be performed. So be patient while you're waiting for your results. Thank you so much.